Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of time intervals. This is standard 3.7c in the great state of Texas and we're using number 9 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Felix is doing quite a bit here. He's spending 19 minutes on his uh, swimming, 21 minutes on his riding his bike, and 30 minutes on running. So we need to find the total amount, so that's going to be add. Seems like it's a pretty straightforward problem so far. Total amount of time that he spent swimming, riding his bike, and running the race. All right, so we need all three of these times. There's no extra information here. So can we just add it up? Well, let's see. Let's see what happens if we just add these numbers up because we're adding minutes. Um, and sometimes adding time is a little bit weird, but since we're just adding minutes, minutes is just another unit. So you could be adding minutes, you could be adding meters, you can be adding quarts, gallons. It doesn't really matter. If you're just straight adding a unit like this, you can add like normal. It's when you try to add time with minutes and hours, that's when it gets a little bit weird. But let's see what we have here. 9 and 1, that's going to be 10. So 1 and 1 is 2, add another 2 is going to be 4, and then 3 is 7, so 70 minutes. And that's where the trick comes in, I guess, because that is not one of my options. So we have this analog clock here. Let's see if we can use it to try to make sense of all of this. So 70 minutes. So what I'm going to do is we're going to keep this. The 70 minutes is good. We know it's 70 minutes. We, and for the most part, we can probably say it's not going to be 40 minutes because it's more than that. But let's say I don't know how to turn minutes into hours in minutes. How can we use an analog clock to do that? Well, let's just take the minute hand here. It doesn't even really matter what the hour is. There is no actual time that we know that he started all of this stuff in a race, so we're just going to use the, the hour here. And this is at the o'clock, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip count by fives. You know that each of these are fives. We've got 5, 10, 15, 20, all the way around. I'm going to skip count by fives, and then we will see what we have left. So we'll just keep going. 30, 35, 40. 45, 50. If you don't want to write all of them out, just think your fives facts. So if I'm going to start at o'clock and I want to go to 70 minutes, let's see what I have here. So I've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. I'm going to stop right there. 60 minutes. It says the o'clock. But I also remember that 60 minutes, that's the same as one hour. So if I do 60 minutes, my minute hand, remember there is no hour hand here, I'm just looking at my minutes. My minute hand goes all the way around. So I can say 60 minutes is at the 12 o'clock, just like the o'clock. And every time you hit that 60 minutes, you get another hour. Well, all I need to do is to get from 60 up to 70. So let's start back where I stopped. 60, 65, 70. So I would be right there at the 2. What is that 2? Well, remember that this 2 is at the 10, the 10 minute mark. It's right there, but we just kind of wrote all over it. So it looks like if I took my 70, and I split it up, and this makes sense now. We could do it like this. 60 plus 10 is the same as 70. So this is the same as this. We didn't, it's kind of like a fraction, right? Finding an equivalent fraction. We didn't make it say anything different. We just made it look different. So now we can bring this 10 minutes over, and look what I have. I've got one hour and 10 minutes. So that's going to be my answer C. And this D is just uh, too small, that would be 60 minutes. And this A is too big, that would actually be 80 minutes. And that is going to be 70 minutes C.